Hey YouTube, Mickey. Alright, so I'll do a desktop review on a uh, pack I got from Pentagon Tactical. It's called the Tactical Chess Bag or Tactical Chess Rig, I like to call it. Um, firstly, uh, you'll be seeing a lot more reviews from me about Pentagon products. Um, I've gotten to know Pentagon quite well and have investigated and found out a lot of information about their products and to be honest their products are pretty much bomb proof they are made for the military sold to the military um, including Australian military personnel uh, but more so their largest market is is Europe uh, so a lot of European um, military have their products and use their products out in the field um, firstly on the back here you'll see their logo or their their patch there uh, Pentagon um, Pentagon Battlefield approved okay now Pentagon isn't just a company that are a bunch of blokes that supply tactical gear or military gear they are actually military personnel they have served in the army both Australian and European and they continue to do training for military around the world uh, and I can't say much more than that because it is a little bit uh, uh, I guess needs no basis but um, they are the real deal and uh, they design their own packs and clothes and accessories um, to what they want from what they experience out in the field in the military and um, they've come up with um, a number of really really good products and as I said, military grade products. So, uh, enough of that. Um, I'll get on to Pentagon a little bit more in maybe another video. But um, this is the tactical chest bag. Um, I've chosen this bag to be supplied to my students when they do my survival course. So, straight off the bat, they're getting a military grade pack. Okay. Retails at $50. Uh, 1000D heavy duty nylon, molly everywhere, YKK zippers, multiple compartments, pockets, etc. Um, two rows of molly on the front here with four columns, three rows on the side with two columns, again on the other side, two rows of molly right here on the, uh, the kind of uh, padding there. Uh, two inch wide um, shoulder straps um, nice thick buckle here for for quick release okay the buckles also are um, shock resistant or, or crack resistant they're not your cheap plastic buckles they're good quality two D rings on here so you can maybe rig up another sort of uh, shoulder strap to carry it more like a haversack style bag um, three main kind of pockets on the back you have nice padding here um, which enables the bag not to sweat on your person it is breathable uh, another d-ring here a snap closure there with a pocket in the back with velcro so you can you can put a nine millimeter pistol with the uh, pistol holder that comes with the bag you can either have it on the back here or there is a section on the inside um, belt loop and also again two D rings here either to carry it left or right hand depending you know what your preferences are um, you got this kind of bungee kind of cord here uh, and also with uh, Molly there, so you can put morale patches. I've got the Australian flag, obviously. Uh, but, you know, you've got uh, something there to maybe, you know, tuck in a poncho if you don't want to put it in your bag or, you know, a jacket. You know, it cinches out, you know, pretty large, so you can fit, you know, something in there quite large. Also has a, like a beltish loop there. Okay, you can see that. You may want to stick something through there, I'm not too sure. Uh, you got a nice sturdy grab handle there with a, uh, a button kind of closure there again. 
Um, so the inside of the bag, and I've got this decked out with the 10 priorities of survival. And just quickly, again, this is the bag I'll be giving my students, and the contents, uh, the 10 priorities will also be included within the bag for my students. Um, I haven't got all the uh, items in stock yet to pack out the bags, but believe you me, the items that are going to be put in that bag is going to be at least nearly $150 worth of value of stuff inside this bag, including the bag being 50 bucks. So my students are getting good quality products, the 10 priorities of survival, everything they need to survive for a day, for a week, for two weeks, for as long as they can, if, as long as they've got food and water and stuff like that. So, um, okay, in the bag itself, uh, you've got a, a pocket here and I'll take out um, some items. Now, I'll show you the items that the students will be getting. It won't be the exact items, but some will. They'll be getting a very, very good quality poncho, okay? Straight off the bat, that's what they're getting. They'll be getting uh, an emergency blanket, actually two of these. Pretty large actually, don't be fooled by the size. Um, Mayday, yeah, Mayday brand uh, emergency survival blanket, 84 inches by 52 inches. Decent size emergency blanket in such a small package. And if you want to get technical about it, uh, that's about three inches by nearly two and a half inches. So uh, they'll be getting two of those. I've only got one here at this stage. Um, and you'll see here there is more Velcro there where again you can connect the pistol holster in there to carry a pistol. Fits a 9mm, standard 9mm, block or whatever it may be. Um, GI canteen and cup fits perfectly in there. Again, students will be receiving this exact same item. A canteen and a metal cup. Obviously not this cup because that's mine but it will be the same style cup with the butterfly handles. Um, okay, in here I've got, uh, I won't go through everything in here. You've seen my video on my uh, 10 priorities. Um, I think I actually posted a video on items broken down. I'm not too sure if I haven't, I will. But in this kit um, is snare wire, fishing kit, um, fire, tinder, um, needles, thread, all that kind of stuff. I won't go through it, but students will be receiving this exact kit. Maybe not an Outoids tin, but it will be an Outoids style tin. On the back, you've got a Fresnel lens. Okay, so that's what they'll be getting. Uh, mental health. They will be receiving three chewing gums, or two, sorry. Um, tea bags, I've got peppermint and chamomile in there at the moment, that's what I like, I like to drink, but uh, I'll see what type of tea we'll be putting there for the students. One coffee sachet, there'll be two of those, and two, one beef and one chicken stock cube, that's what they'll be receiving as mental health, uh, on top of a deck of playing cards, which I don't have with me at the moment. Uh, then you've got this... Uh, uh, elastic kind of um, strap here with another pocket there inside there students will be receiving a notepad not this one but they will be receiving a notepad with a pencil pencils on there again mental health okay so that's all that's in that pocket so you know straight off the bat you've got a lot of room in that pocket all this stuff in here, including the GI canteen, and you still have more stuff to put in there. Sorry, by the way, each student will be receiving a shamag, this color, and this shamag also fits in here with all these items in there, okay? So, shamag also is included in the kit. In the, the back pocket here, um, two clear plastic 70 liter Bags, clear plastic. Why? For transpiration. So another means of uh, of uh, getting water by transpiration. Two bags. They'll be each student will receive exactly these this bag. These styles of bag. Not easy to find, by the way. 
but I found it. Um, okay, and then you've got uh, the secondary pocket here, okay, opens up like that. Paracord, 15 feet, students will be receiving this paracord. Um, some repair cordage, again, that's what they'll be receiving, so you've got some repair cordage there. Electrical tape will be included in the kit. A torch, LED torch, and a spare battery will be included in the kit. Not this exact one, but there will be a torch and a spare battery. Um, two compression bandages. And these will be included in the kit. This exact item right in front of you now is going to be given to my students. And if any Aussie knows, these things aren't the cheapest things in the world. So, But they will be receiving two compression bandages. I think you know the reasons why. Snake bite, funnel bed bite, bite, sprained wrist, sprained ankle, medical purposes, okay? Cut it, make some charcoal. cloth. You know, the list goes on. So in this pocket here, you've got a uh, strap there with a um, carabiner kind of thing there. You've got a pocket in there, and again, if we forgot, there will be a multi-tool with this uh, kit, and it'll be this exact multi-tool. I'm pretty sure you've seen these on the net. You know, they are a cheapy kind of um, multi-tool, but, you know, does the job for grabbing hot items off the fire. And, you know, a multi-tool has multiple uses. Um, okay, so you've got that, you've got the sleeve there, and then you've got these two elastic um, loops here, which is mainly used for a magazine but obviously fits those um, compression bandages really, really well. This video is going to go for a little bit, guys, sorry. Um, okay, then on the front pocket here, the zip pocket, again, plenty of room. Um, they'll be receiving a uh, decent amount of husky tape, not duct tape, husky tape. I find this is stronger than duct tape, a lot more useful, holds its adhesiveness, adhesiveness a lot longer I've got a sail needle attached there also so um, they'll be receiving that exact um, husky tape four band-aids four wound wipes or alcohol cleansing pads and six water purification tablets that's what they'll be receiving that's the exact item they will get um, and just water um, sodium chloride Injection BP point is nine percent. Um, they'll be receiving. Well, no, they won't be receiving that. Actually, I'll cut that out. Sorry, but I have that for my personal use. Oh, actually, I may include that. We'll see what happens. Actually, I will. I'll include one of these eye wash. Um, and that's the the pocket there. So pretty much that is the bag. The uh, Pentagon tactical chest bag. Uh, I'll quickly pan the camera around and um, show you two ways you can wear this on your person. Um, but again, it's a great bag. With it fully unpacked, the dimensions are about 10 inches high, about 9 inches wide, and so we puff it out a bit here. Just, you know about five inches in depth though, I guess you call it. I'm not sure the cubic meters or, or the literage of how how much it fits, but man, believe me, it fits a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I mean, first off the bat, it fits all this inside the bag, including the Shamark. Obviously that would be around your person. But that's what they get. Now cutting tool I'm not counting on the multi-tool to be a cutting tool. The knife is, is crap. Um, and if I want to put a multi-tool in there with a decent knife, man, it's going to cost you know at least 50 bucks to put a decent multi-tool in there. And I just can't afford to put a decent multi-tool in here because then the pack will just blow out of proportion and be too much. So um, each student will be, giving, will be given a fixed blade knife. It won't be a full tang. We all know full tang knives are quite expensive, and I'm not going to give them a cheap shit full tang knife. Um, so 
I will have full tang knives um, available at the course for them if they want to purchase it. Um, but uh, they can bring their own full tang knife. But what knife will be given to them is the Mora Classic. So they'll be given the Mora Classic knife. The Mora Classic knife will be part of this kit. I don't have it here right now because I'm still waiting for them to be imported from overseas. I'm ordering a shitload of them. Um, so yeah, they'll be getting a Mora Classic. And hey, if I was a student that was uh, a bit of a green thumb to survival and received a Mora Classic knife, I would be a happy camper. You know, it's a decent quality knife, man. So um, that's the kit, that's the bag. And uh, I'll just quickly show you how bag itself it's here now it's called a chest uh, tactical chest bag or chest rig so pretty much wrap it around yourself like that get it over my hood and sits like that okay you could uh obviously um adjust the straps here for it to sit lower so you could use the the belt loop there to hang to your belt so it doesn't keep moving around but you know it actually doesn't move around it's it's pretty stable there this is used again by the military and you know if you've got a, a firearm you still this doesn't get in the way you still got um, you know room between your bag and your body to hold that firearm okay so it doesn't get in your way at all uh, the other way which is the way I prefer to have it is just like a simple shoulder bag um, just put it around the other way and uh, you got it there sitting right against your uh i don't know what's there your kidney or wherever it is so sits right there nice and comfy not getting in your way arm movements no worries and then if you need to grab something you just swing it around and grab again obviously adjust it to to suit your torso your height and stuff like that but that sits well for me and i actually prefer it sitting about there just above the belt line or just on the belt line so um, that's it fellas that's the pentagon chest bag well, i'm going to call it the chest rig and uh that's what will be supplied to my students so um hope you enjoyed that video and look i'm going to be showing a lot more pentagon products i mean i'm wearing a pentagon jacket right now Th this stuff is a1 man it's a plus i mean i've got to say it is really really good stuff and uh it's good to know that the military actually uses their products um, so I've got a pair of pants, I've got a really really good warm jacket um, that I was wearing today because it was cold but for some reason I'm feeling a bit hot and flustered at the moment. I'll show you the jacket, I'll show you the pants, I've got another another bag which is inside which is my everyday EDC bag for urban environments, I'll show you that. Um, I showed you, I did a video on the survival capsule by Pentagon um so anyway get ready for that so i'll cut this video off thanks for watching and i uh, hope you enjoyed that and comment like dislike if you if you want um and uh i'll check you all out